But in my version, what I'm going to do is we're going to do comic books or the comic book version. And I'm going to give Cameron three comic books. And he's going to have to tell me which one he wants to spec on, which one he wants to collect, and which one he wants to forget. So in this case, spec's going to be the book that's kind of like, you know, you're going to you're gonna wait to that right time. You're going to do a one night stand with that book. You're going to flip it. You're going to sell during the trailer and you're going to make that money. Uh, collect is going to be the book that it's like, this is a PC book. I don't care what the price is today. I'm buying this thing and I'm keeping it forever. Uh, and then the forget is the kill. You're burning that thing. You're sending it to Mephisto's realm, as I like to say. So do, do the rules make sense to you in that in that way? Yes. All right, cool. Well, and then also too, chat, you know, uh, we're going to do the, the picks here, but I'm going to need your guys' participation as well. It's very, very important. Uh, you know, we're going to see what Cameron has to say, and then we're going to judge him for his picks. Now, there's no wrong <laughs> answers, Cameron. There's no wrong answers. Right, right. But, you know, uh, comic collectors are passionate. Yes. Uh, all right. Before we show up the slide, I guess say, yo, what up to journals, comics, and pop culture? The very first player of Spec Collect Forget. Good to see you. I remember you. that. Also, Ultra Maximus, what's going on? Oh, it's choppy. Well, hopefully it's better now. Okay, it's better now. All right. Good, 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 good. Cool. All right. Starting us off, first round, Spec Collect Forget. We got Ripstick go. Comics in the house. First batch, we got to start with some smaller books and some Sony stuff. Some Sony books right here we got three books related to sony films first one we have is lethal protector number five that's the first full appearance of a bunch of the you know symbiote uh, uh venom you know uh, carnage venom verse characters mm -hmm. we got morbius number one you know the first kind of solo title for the morbius character obviously we got morbius coming up in the next uh, month or so and then we got spider-man 2099 number one first issue Maybe it's the first appearance, depends on how you want to argue that, um, of, you know, Spider-Man 2099, who I guess is going to be making an appearance in Into the Spider-Verse later this year. So spec, for like, spec collect, forget, Cameron, let us know what you would do with these three books. This is already tough for me. <laughs> this is the, to be Nobody the easy one. said it was going to be easy. <laughs> Nobody said it was going to be easy. Chat also, if you guys have opinions here, you know, you can definitely weigh in. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's start off I'm trying to think what, so I have all these books, thankfully. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't, in real life, I don't even need to worry about this. Collect them all. Yeah. It's going to uh, be a long night if you mess up the first round. Hyperness. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Uh, first, I think I'm going to spec with Morbius. Specking on Morbius. Okay, okay. Um, just because it's, uh, you know, the movie's coming out and everything right now, this this book kind of popped for a minute. There's yeah. also, like, rumors and stuff with the Midnight Suns, and this is part of that, like, um, six-issue storyline. That's true. That's true. Uh, and it's a cool Morbius cover. So there's, you know, as far as, and I like... I like the Venom Lethal Protector book, but uh -huh. I think I'm going to have to forget it. I, and I like, Ooh. what are the, I'm trying to even remember some of the. It's, Burn in the book. There's a few characters, a few symbiote characters like introduced in it. And I like them, but I got to collect Spider-Man 2099 because it's 90s nostalgia for me. And I love the cover and it's, it's the first full appearance of, uh, Miguel O'Hara. So yeah, I mean, the true, preview true, true. was in what ASM 365 or whatever. So uh, yeah, I just, I love that book. Like I'll always love that book and that cover. So makes sense. Makes sense. So Spider-Man 2099, number one, you are going to uh, collect that book. Morbius, number one, you're spec in Venom, Lethal Protector five. You are forgetting chat. Drop a one in the chat. If you agree with Cameron's picks here, two's in the chat. If you disagree with his picks here, again, there's no wrong answers, but you know, we like to get a sense of how everybody is feeling about how Cameron did in this one right here. I mean, I, I do kind of understand your picks. I mean, I, I kind of like the Spider-Man 2099 book the most as well. I mean, it's not up to me, but I, I guess if I was playing my own game, I would go with this and yeah. uh, you know, you, you got to love those shiny red foil covers. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and you know, could be meat on the bone with the Morbius one still. All right, let's see here. Fallen Heroes got a one in the chat here. Miguel with a one in the chat. Josh with a one in the chat. Char uh, Charlotte with a one in the chat. Journal with a okay. one in the chat. Al with a one. Caroline with a one. Max with the one. White with a one. Collector with a one. Jorge with one. Cameron off to a hot start. I did lose. 100%. You get to move on to the next round. Very, very well done, sir. All right. Let's go to the next one here. And this one might be a little tougher than what you had in the first one. We got a lot of what I would almost call mid-range future spec potential MCU characters. We got three books right here, okay? Incredible Hulk, number 234. That's the first appearance of Quasar, Wendell Vaughn. We got Marvel Team Up 65. That's the first Captain Britain in U.S. comic books. And then we got Marvel Team Up number 95. That's the first Mockingbird. Uh, not to be confused with Bobby Morris, first Mockingbird, the Frank Miller book. Three characters that are all kind of in that, I don't know if you want to put them in the B or C tier level, depending on how you feel about them, but a lot of interesting you know, potential spec futures with these three. Cam, how are you feeling with this one? Uh, chat, let us know as well. <laughs> I think I have a pretty good idea. I think. Hmm. So I'm going to throw this out there. I, I'm going to get started with forget. Okay. And then I'll move on to the other two burning right off the bat. Let's see what it is. I'm going to burn Quasar. Oh, burning Quasar. Yeah. Here's why. Okay. All right. The cover is terrible. As okay. far as, uh, Quasar related. So uh and, and this is first Quasar, right? Does he doesn't he appear? He he there's there's a lot he's got a, one of those appearances where there's a kind of a few different things. You know, he's he's in a Captain America book as like Marvel Boy, but I do think that this has now become kind of the the valued Quasar book. Wendell okay. Vaughn. If if that's the if this is the book you want for this character, this is the one to get. Right. So I personally don't have any attachments to Quasar. I think there's a lot of, there's a ton of great cosmic characters. Cause I know he was with the guardians of the galaxy, I think in the, the newer run for a little bit. Um, yeah. the, like, like the more, like the first introduction of the more modern guardians of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. um, I just, so I just, as far as if you're trying to get money out of it, I think it's going to be a long wait potentially. And yeah. And because of the mixed different first appearances and stuff, it kind of devalue it can it potentially devalues this book a little bit too. Yeah, I like to call um, it running running back by committee. If you uh, are a fantasy football player out there, yeah. you know the term. Exactly. So for me, and because I don't really have a personal attachment, I'm gonna forget Quasar. All right. All right. What about right. spec and collect? I am going to spec on Captain Britain. Specking and on I'm Captain going Britain. to collect Mockingbird. Marvel okay, okay, okay. Collecting Mockingbird. All right, chat, let us know. Drop a one in the chat if you agree with Cam's picks here. I'm going to let him explain his, you know, yeah. spec and Mary here. But drop a one in the chat if you agree, two in the chat if you disagree. And Cam, what, what was the thought process? Um, I think I just know more about Mockingbird in general. I like the character more in general. Uh, although I do like Captain Britain, I think... That probably has the most potential for probably the biggest jump too. Although I think this was the one. It's not uh, if for, he first appeared in the British comic first, but this is right. the first um, U.S. appearance or whatever comic book. Uh, right. And I think you know if we get that the you know Excalibur and the, that European superhero team, which I think is you know very potentially possible. Uh, I think that book will super blow up. As far as like Mockingbird really being a huge money book, although we've already kind of got her, yeah, kind of got her in, in, in Hawkeye MCU, a little bit. Uh, it's not like set in stone that it's just set, it said she was Mockingbird yet, but I think it said like agent number or something, and that's the same yeah. number as Mockingbird. So we pretty much have her. Uh, but I just I like the cover a little bit more. I have I like the character a little bit more. So yeah, and I think there's more value to be 
sold at for the Captain Britain. Yeah, well, it well. is a Frank Miller book and a book that I have still at CGC being <laughs> wait to be graded that we got signed while we went to the show together. But we have the results back here. Sindane, what's going on? Good to see you, man. We got a one with Sindane. We got Vinny with the one. We got Miguel with the one. White with the one. Ryan with the one. Chadwick with the one. Max with the one. Al with the one. Zach with the two. CJ with the two. Josh okay, with the one. Okay. Journal with the two. Jorge with the two. Okay, a couple late twos, okay. but I do still think the majority ones it feels like there might have been some Quasar fans out there, but you know, again, it's uh, there's no wrong answers, but uh, you know, the people have sort of mixed feelings about it. But I'd say that there are more people who generally agreed with your take. Okay, cool. All right, <laughs> moving on now to round number three. Okay, and I had to do, you know, we I always like to do a little bit of give DC a little bit of love. I got to give DC a little bit of love. You know, and we got to give a very specific kind of love because it's Batman weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. It is Batman weekend. So in this one right here, Spec Collect Forget, we got three iconic Batman covers by three legendary Batman artists. First one, we got Batman 251, Neil Adams cover, the classic Joker with Batman in the card here. We got Batman number 423, which is, of course, the classic Todd McFarlane cover. And then we got Batman 608, you know, the modern cover that's by Jim Lee. Jim I believe Lee. that's a second print and a very, very hot book as well. Three classic Batman covers for Batman weekend. Spec, collect, forget. Cam, how you feeling? And chat, let us know what you think as well. This one's this one's a tough one for me as far as between the collect and spec, but I gotta easy forget. I love Jim Lee in X Men, and I think he's a great Batman artist. But I gotta forget uh, Batman Six Hundred Eight. Ooh, right off the I bat, know, I know, taking away Jim Lee, but it is the most modern of the it books, is, and that's that's part of it too. So, um. Just as far as like if you're trying to get a ton of value out of it, I think the other two, they're pretty amazing covers. They're a little older, uh, also iconic artists and stuff doing them. So uh, either of those books, I think I, any of these books are great to have, obviously, but right. I got to I gotta forget 608. As far as spec and collect, I personally am going to collect Batman 423 as a, okay. a McFarlane Stan. Yeah. And even I've just grown even more appreciation for this cover, even though I don't have it, but I'm going to spec on Batman 251. Specking on Batman 251, collecting Batman 423, the Todd McFarlane super fan here, and forgetting Batman number 608. Well, you know, Cameron. This is one of those things where it's like, it's not that she wanted to kill or burn Batman 608. It's just that you're not, you weren't going to save him. <laughs> so, so classic. So good. You know, I got to say, uh, one's in the chat if you agree with Cam's picks, two's in the chat if you disagree. I got to say, I'm so excited to see Batman. I'm going to see Batman to tomorrow, actually. Uh, uh, I'm but, jealous. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant. I'm like, dude, the, the, the poeticism that Christopher Nolan put in that Batman trilogy, I just don't know it's if just, this and, one's going to match it. And I was in high school and stuff when those came out too. So high school and college. So uh, to, that, that Batman was like my favorite Batman because I just couldn't get into the 80s ones as much, 80s and 90s ones as much. So like that, that's my Batman trilogy right there. So yeah. I, All right, well, I let's won't see here. kill let's... you, but I don't have to save you. <laughs> so good. So good. All right. Charlotte with the one here. Carolina with the one. Ryan with the two. Journal with the one. Chadwick with the emphatic one, 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 one. Nice. Viper with the two. Charlotte with the one again. CJ with the two. Al with the one. Hyper with the two. Miguel with the one. White Devil with the question mark. And Jorge with the two. So again, a little bit split. But I'd say for the most part, the people were kind of feeling the picks overall. So, you know, definitely, I, definitely yeah. kudos to you on that one. And I get collecting Joker, that like iconic Joker cover. That one was hard for me, but I, I know that one's just always going to be iconic and fetch bread. And since I have the attachment to McFarlane, it's like, I'll, you know, I'll I, sell I, that if I had it. I totally feel you. I, although, you know, for me, I'm not a huge DC person, but right. I have been thinking about that Neil Adams book myself. It, it, at, it's at some point it's, in the future. 
it's to me it's you can't get batman one so yeah. uh that's a pretty good book to have that's it all right moving on to round number four i'm not going to do preamble because i don't remember what the slide is so let us reveal the books it is Ooh. oh okay okay Ooh, here we go here we go let me set this up properly yeah we got some more sony spider-man verse books right here okay some hot spider-man books who knows what's gonna be happening in the future but the three ones we have here is asm 124 first appearance of man wolf uh, you know, a hot spec character that could be coming maybe in the Morbius movie. We never really know. We got sure. ASM 210 here. First, Madam Web. There was recently announced that Madam Web's going to be getting her own film in the Sony-verse. And then we got ASM 252, a book that was already hot because it's the first black suit, but I feel like maybe is even hotter because of the fact that we had some of those leaks that Tom Holland was maybe going to be doing some kind of black suit stuff in the future. So, right. Cameron, the question to you is spec, collect, forget. Which ones are you feeling here? And chat, let us know as well. Uh, I'm immediately collecting 252. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man covers. White it was Devil's one of the, here. It was one of the first books I went after when I was like trying to, when I was first like, I guess I'm going to spend a little more money on comic books now uh, because they're expensive and I want them and, you know, it'll be okay. So this was one of the first books that I was like went after. And when I got it, I was stoked. Yeah. Uh, so I'm collecting 252. I am going to spec on ASM 210 okay. uh, because we already have confirmed casting. We already know uh, we're going to see this character, you know, within the next couple of years. True. Uh, true. It already popped off, and you know, selling now is honestly not a bad idea for people that if you got you, it, you don't want to look so. a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. Exactly. And so I'm going to forget. 124 unfortunately. no love for and, the and werewolves i ha and i like this character i mm -hmm. really think there's potential for this character it was fun um i've read some of the more for more modern books that i've read with this character yeah he teams up with misty knight and yeah. kind of has dealings with like ravencroft and so he kind of dips into the horror landscape a little bit too which is like you know there's definitely potential there but yeah. i gotta I got to forget it in this case. Well, so. chat, you know what to do. Cameron, no love for Man Wolf. He hates lichens. He hates Werewolf by Night. <laughs> He's not excited about the Halloween special at all. Not He's true. only in it for the vampires. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding there. But uh, yeah, let us know in the chat. What did you guys think of Cameron's picks here? You know, I do think that the ASM 252. It was a tough one for me to incorporate in the slide because I felt like this was maybe the obvious choice, but you know, we don't know. I didn't know necessarily what you were going to pick, uh, right. but it definitely feels like people are going to agree with you on that. So Josh with the one here, Miguel with the one, Jorge with the two, Ryan with the one, Chadwick with the one, Zach with the one, Hyper with the one, Max with the two, CJ with the two, Journal with the one, White Devil with the one, uh, Fapton America with the two one zero. Not sure what that is. Oh, and then a flurry <laughs> at the end here. Carolina Comics with the two. Uh -oh. Al with the two, and Carnival uh -oh. with the two. Oh, but then another flurry. Charlotte with the one, okay. and Sindane with the one. I don't know. So pretty it, mixed. It was, pretty mixed. It was fifty fifty or so. Yeah. Kind of a mixed bag. I mean, I think the big question is really the two ten versus the one twenty four. That's really going to be you know. Yeah. Kind of, I, I feel like in general with this game, it's like depending on what you burn, you tends to be the book that people uh, are not feeling. And you know, gotcha. so when you got someone like Carnival Hands looking at you, you know, specking on two ten versus one twenty four, you know, he, to him, he's thinking to himself like this. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know it's not the only one here. We got some more. We got a couple, a couple late ones here. Nowhere bound with the what's going on. Okay. And Dan De La Torre, what's going on, man? Good to see you in the chat. So um, in my my ASM two fifty two right now is at CGC. Oh, and nice. I got signed by uh, Ron Friends and Tom DeFalco. So oh. I'm shooting for a nine zero. That's what I'm shooting for. So hey, uh, we'll see. Nine zero nine zero PC book. Yeah, signed. I'll take that every day. Yeah, yeah for me. All right. Going on now to the next round. Maybe that one was easy for you because you had 252, but this one will not be as easy. Ooh. In fact, this one might be controversial depending on what Ooh. you say right here. But we got the future, okay? We got the future of the MCU. We have Iron Man number nine, first appearance of Riri Williams, the near future. 
We got Young Avengers number one, first appearance of a bunch of characters who are in the Young Avengers, the maybe distant future. And then we got Black Panther number three, the one in 25 variant, first appearance of the flagship character of Marvel Comics, Tosin Oduye, the future, future, future of Marvel Comics. Spec collect, forget. As Cam, some have let, said, let me know what you think of this. Miles and would, Morales. And I would just say, I would just say, I, I, I do a what I think is a decent job. The raw prices, all of my slides are, are books that are that are at the same price level. But that I just want to put in perspective for everyone out there that it's like, you know, this is the to this is what Tosin is being evaluated against. Okay. All right. Anyways, the oh, show's yours. I'm Spec gonna forget. I'm going to start off real quick, and I'm going to say burn Black Panther 3. Oh, no love for Tosin. <laughs> and I, so I need to read the book. I'm waiting for the second print to read it. I've read issues one and two. I'm like, I got to see what's going on with this character. So I, I have this book on my poll. I read the first two issues now. I liked the first two issues. I'm excited to read this book, and I have issue four or two that just came out. So And, and, and I think, you know, I'm not even saying that the, I don't see potential for this character. Like, it could be a good spec book. Do I think that this book for should sell where it's selling at right now. I it's, it, it was blowing my mind away as I kept seeing the prices go up in this book. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it was just, it was astounding. It was it's insane. insane. It's insane. I mean, like, and, and journal brings up a good point. It's like, there's not a, that much data out there right now, even to evaluate. Cause I, I even think like whatever the pre-screens are going for, it's hard to even evaluate the graded books, but like just in the raw sales right now, like, these books are all similar. Like five, even even with the correction of the one in Black Panther three, it's still like you can get a copy of Riri Williams first appearance for the same price. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then so I'm going to I'm going to collect Young Avengers one personally because I think I I I really like this series. I like these characters. I think there's a long future for them. And so I you know there is a ton of spec value but i'm gonna spec on the near future with riri williams and i and i love and i love this book i love riri williams too and i think i think a lot of people are gonna really like her character um yeah. and so i think it'll really go up when we really get to start to see her character more well black panther number three tosin sorry you, know, tosin. you, were, you were you were the chosen one but cameron you know he's got the high ground it's over anakin i have the high ground you underestimate my power. Don't try it. You were the chosen one. <laughs> oh, what a scene. Just, what a scene. I, I was wondering if it's going to continue on and literally burst into flames because that's that's what is the next little Yeah, thing yeah. Is. It's so <laughs> dramatic. It was like it was one of those things where it's like as I'm making the clip I'm like this is too long. I have to I, like trim this and we just have to get the best parts. To, to, and Tosin is screaming, "I hate you." Yeah, yeah. Tosin was the chosen, you know, I feel like there's going to be maybe a potential future where that meme becomes even more relevant where people are like <laughs> Tosin, you were the chosen one. And why did you drop in price so yeah, much? Yeah, why did you drop in price? All right, well, it looks like this one right here, the people are really with you on this one. One with Josh, one with Jorge, one with Miguel, Al with the one, Carnival with the one, Caroline with the one, Zach with the one, Hyper with the one, Chadwick with the one, White Devil with the one, Sindane with the one, and Jerno with the one. So everyone feeling that for sure. No love for the future Miles Morales. <laughs> and... It was literally because of, ble of a bleeding cool article. People just went nuts. Yeah, and like I get, I get added spe speculative value. I, I understand that. Like I sometimes succumb a little bit to it because I'm like, oh, I really like it. I really do see a potential for whatever. But I, the the price that that those are hitting is just not sustainable. Especially I like in six months. I if they're still selling for that, I'd be really surprised. But yeah, you know. Yeah. It'll be That's interesting. We'll, we'll definitely we'll, see. we'll definitely have to check back on that uh, eventually. All right, going on now to the next round. We got spec collect forget. We got some street level Ooh. heroes here. We talked earlier in the oh. show about the defenders coming over to Disney Plus. So a lot of these books are kind of hot right now with yeah. that street level 
defender spec. So we got first up here, Hero for Hire, number one, first appearance of Luke Cage. We got Daredevil 168, you know, not Daredevil 1, but it is the first appearance of Elektra here, who, if we're going to do more Daredevil, seems to be a obvious thing that we would maybe get Elektra as well. And then we got Marvel Premiere 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. So spec collect, forget, Cam, how are you feeling with these books? And chat, let us know as well. Okay, this one is tough. I think I'm going to start off with my personal favorite of the bunch. Just the, the comic, the cover itself, and then just the character in general. I'm going to go with Daredevil 168 with Elektra. Mm, collecting Elektra. Okay. Yeah. Frank, Frank Miller fan right here. Yeah. Uh, I You know, just I really I have an attachment just because I like the TV show a lot. I've read some daredevil books and and with a modern take on electra her kind of taking on the daredevil role um in the new chip chip Zdarsky run um it's just yeah it's great i like it and i uh i, I just gotta go with that one uh, this next one i think oh, man and this is really hard I think I'm going to have to forget Hero for Hire 1 and spec on Iron Fist. Whoa. Marvel 15. I know. Okay. This might and be I'll, a controversial decision, but, you know, explain I'll, yourself. Explain yourself. And I'll, I'll, and this is a, I don't, I don't know why I'm going about this other than I think Iron Fist has more potential for use in general as far as like in, the Disney properties, like movies and TV shows. Uh, he can, he's a street level hero, hero, but he has a much larger grandiose character. And, and, and part of it's my, why I'm impartial is because I've read a little bit more with Iron Fist, I'd say. Um, and so, although I liked the Luke Cage show more and I liked the actor more and I liked everything about it more with how it was portrayed in recent, you know, times, uh, I think I like the comic book character more. I think it's a little more dynamic. I think Hero uh, Luke Cage, although I do really like his relationship with Jessica Jones and their um, their story kind of moving forward. Uh, just the old school adaptation of Luke Cage is kind of outdated a little bit too. So we're not going to really see any of those stories or anything realistically because it's, uh, I don't know. It was written by, I think, a white guy when it first came out and it was uh, I don't know the stories are just okay from the old stuff and just the newer stuff I don't know a ton about it other than the stuff kind of with uh, Jessica Jones so yeah yeah all right well that's it I know people have already started we'll voting out, but... we'll start <laughs> voting but let's see let's see what uh, let's oh, go in the God. chat here kind of like heads with the two Al with the one Josh with the two Josh with the two Josh gave us two twos Charlotte with oh, two shoot. Miguel with the two Jorge with the no. one uh, Journal's going to give you the 1.5. Follow it here okay, with the two. Okay. Chadwick with the two. CJ hits you with the are you drinking? C C CJ, CJ. CJ was just not feeling Cameron's picks right now. When he saw that you were going to burn Hero for Hire, this was his reaction. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? Oh, man. Yeah, but, I... Uh, I look, just, look. I gotta, I gotta make tough choices, people, and I have certain attachments, and I, I just gotta go with what I got. So. It's fine. Hey, look, look, look. There's no wrong answers. Inspect, collect, forget. You know, this is, this is, this is your show. This is your show. There's just, you know, judgment, and that's what makes the game so, so very fun. All right. Well, let's go on to the next slide here. Next round. Spec, collect, forget. You know that I love me some Silver Age books. Ooh, I know okay. Dan's in the chat. He loves some Silver Age books. And here's some interesting, we'll call them B-tier Avengers, hmm. that all books, all books that got hot last year. First up, we have Avengers number 57, first appearance of Vision. Second up, Captain America 117, first appearance of Falcon. And then third, Avengers number 48, first Dane Whitman as Black Knight. Spec collect, forget how you feeling on this one. I actually feel Chat, okay. Let on us this know one. as well. Uh, I'm going, I, and I, I'm going to go through this one quick, I think. Okay. Just, uh, so I'm going to collect Avengers 57. 
Okay. Uh, with just the classic Avengers cover. It's tough, but I think it has the edge over Captain America 117, which I would spec to sell when we get Captain America 4 cuz he it's still the first of, you know, appearance of Sam Wilson. Okay, okay. Falcon. And then I'm going to burn Avengers 48. I'm sorry Dane Whitman and Black Knight. <laughs> No I, uh... <laughs> love for Game of Thrones tonight, guys. No love for Game of Thrones. Well, I I I pick spec for Iron Fist, I guess. That's true. That's so, true. Well, a little love for Game of Thrones, I guess. But I, you know, with Black Knight, I I think there's a ton of potential, and I love the casting. But I just like the other two characters so much, so much more in comic book format in general. So for sure, I gotta go. Sure. I gotta go with them. Well, Cam. You had conviction in this one. You knew right away. You were up there, you know, in the moment at the height of the ladder, and you made the decision when it needed to be done, and you put Avengers 48 on the mat a little something like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dane. I'm sorry. All right. Well, let's check in with the chat here. Let's see what the okay. people had to say about your picks. Chadwick with the one here, Jorge with the two, Desired with the one, Carnival with the two, Carolina with the one, Sindane with the one, Hyper with the two, Dan with the one, Jerno with the one, Al with the two, Charlotte with the one, White Devil with the three, and Vinny with the one. So, you know, I would say there was generally more ones in there, 60, yeah. 40 or so. I think this is a tough one. I mean, and, and I know and, what I would do. And, char and character-wise, I like Sam Wilson as much as Vision, realistically. I yeah. think it's purely based on cover between the two books. Mm. Cause I, I, I really love both characters. So yeah, I, I will say, I think all of these are great covers. And yeah, if Avengers you are a fan, a if you are a fan of that character, I mean, it's a, it's a great cover, you know, for whichever character you actually like. So right. um, definitely a tough one. And it's interesting because I think that there is a lot of discussion to be had of like, okay, well, which of these characters are we going to see first back? You know, maybe a vision is not going to come back for the longest out of the characters right there. But yeah. I think historically speaking, vision also is was always or has always been the most famous of those three characters. Right. So it's right. got more of a historical significance in that way. For sure. All right. Going on now to the next round here. Oh, we gosh. have to kind of mix it up a little bit. OK. OK. Before we before we continue on our Marvel craze here, we got to kind of do something a little different. And okay. I don't know how much of a gamer you are, Ooh. okay? But there are some hot video game books out there in the market that are commanding pretty high prices. And so I got right here three video game books that are all really, really expensive. First one up, up here, we got Sonic the Hedgehog from 1991, the first mm. appearance of Sonic in comic book form. We got Mortal Kombat number one, the collector's edition. This is the first comic book for Mortal Kombat. You know, a book right. that got really hot when we had the Mortal Kombat movie and then Super Mario number one, not the first appearance of Mario in comics, right, right. but the first solo series, the, the book, the cover you would want to own, you know, as we talk what, about cover appearances, it was Wiz, Wiz comics, right? Is that the first Mario? It's like, a, or, it's, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Chat will tell yeah. us, but it's like, it's got the cover of the guy playing the arcade machine. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, so or not a very it, satisfying <laughs> Mario cover, right? But, all of these books, you know, whether you're a Sega fan, a Mortal Kombat fan, a Super Mario fan, I don't know how much of a gamer you are. I know Hyper's in the chat. I probably, you know, Hyper probably has a good opinion on this one. Uh, but let us know what you think, Cam. Spec Collect Forget. All right. I'm going to burn Mortal Kombat. I'm sorry. I love Mortal oh. Kombat. <laughs> Out of the gate. No love for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but I don't necessarily love the art on that book. It's, uh, they're not, it's not super sim I, it's okay in comparison to the, the video game esque and i love the original mortal kombat movies too and the video yeah. games but uh i gotta burn it i'm sorry mortal kombat and i'm gonna i'm gonna spec i'm gonna spec on sonic oh, okay and then collect mario specking on sonic we got sonic 2 coming out very just, very soon just, right and, and Super so, Mario, apparently uh, Chris Pratt is going to be the voice of Mario at some the, point. In the, the Italian plumber portrayed by yeah. Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. so the All-American. The All-American Chris the Pratt. All, yes. Well, chat, spec, collect, forget. Cam went 
he put the ring on Super Mario number one. He's specking on Sonic one. He doesn't care about Tails and Knuckles. He's going to flip that. I love Tails and out. Knuckles. Mortal Kombat number one. That movie was hot trash. And he's finishing him with the fatality, <laughs> putting Mortal Kombat down for the count. All right, chat. Let us know what you guys think here. Uh, all right. Miguel hit us with the one here. Jorge with the two. Chadwick with the one. Carnival with the one. Uh, first Mario's blip. Yes, that's right. Blip, Thank you, blip. Carolina. What did I say? Uh, Wiz? Carolina with the one. Uh, CJ with the zero. Not feeling the video game book. Charlotte with the one. Hyper <laughs> yeah. with the one. Uh, oh. Dan with the two. Jerno with the one. And Al with the two. So I would say mostly ones yeah. in this one for sure. Um, I like Mario. It's pretty hard not to click Mario. I mean, yeah, Mario's a great, though. great character. Yeah. I was always kind of a Genesis person myself. So. I in the, actually in the war of consoles between and Mario I had a, and I had a Genesis as well, and I had Sonic, but yeah, just the Mario franchise, I guess, in general, I'm more attached to now for sure. All right, going back Ugh. over to Marvel, you know, Cameron, that I love villain characters. Okay, so we got to talk about some big villain characters. Okay, some big Bronze Age villain characters now. This one might be easy, but it might not be. Okay. So I'm really curious to hear what you th what you have to say. I'm really curious to hear what the chat has to say here is too. All right, spec collect forget. We got ASM number 238, first appearance of Hobgoblin. We're going to assume this one has the tattoos in it just in case anyone is wondering. Uh we got Iron Fist number 14, first appearance of Sabretooth, <sighs> and then we got Iron Man number 55, first appearance of Thanos and Drax and the Blood Brothers, I guess, and also a cameo of Star Fox, but really, it's a it's a villain book for Thanos right here. Yeah, spec collect forget. What are uh, you guys feeling on this one? And Cam, this is tough. Let me know what you think? This one's really hard for me because I have attachments in all a lot of different reasons. Well, I was gonna say I, I feel like you know they're pretty comparable in price, right? Although one book might be slightly cheaper. But I know you to be a spider guy. So I was like, you I know, know you, that, that's, that, that's, that's the difference. what throws me off too. I'm going to have to. I think I got to collect Iron Man 55 first. Thanos. Collecting Iron Man 55 first. Thanos. And that's so hard for me to not collect a Spider-Man book. But it's just so iconic. And that book has went up so much. If I had that book, I'd be so stoked. I don't have that book. Yeah. I'm going to. This one's tough, too. Where do I see more money in? <sighs> do I see more money when we get Sabretooth? Or do I see more money if we get Hobgoblin? I'm going to go. And screw it. I'm going to say spec ASM 238 because I'm I'm I can't put myself to burn a spidey book okay okay <laughs> and i'm gonna burn iron man or iron fist uh 14 burning iron fist 14 cameron <sighs> is like i've seen saber tooth in I fox love films who cares yeah. about saber tooth hop goblin we have not seen yet it's true so maybe that could be the next villain at some point in the future well chat let us know what you guys think one's in the chat if you agree with cam's picks here Two's in the chat if you disagree. I'll try uh, just I'll try and justify more too. Like sure, as far as sure. speculation, Hobgoblin is such a a pretty popular character. I, I mean, just off speculation alone and just the popularity of this that that book and the cover is amazing. That book is just so expensive. And the the whole tattoo thing makes it a rarity a little bit. Cause I, I have a copy, but it does not have tattoos. But I got it at a such a great price, I couldn't pass it up. I'm happy to have the that person uh saber tooth amazing wolverine wolverine villain um i don't like the cover as much as asm 238 i honestly i don't i don't love thanos's cover i wish he were on it i wish it was a sweet thanos like classic starlin uh you know. drax is on the cover if that matters it doesn't for a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's check in with the chat but, here. Card Cardinal with I the still got to get it with it. Yeah. It's Cardinal with the two. two. Hyper with the two. Max oh, with the two. No. DJ with the one. Carolina with the two. Miguel with the two. Chadwick with the one. Charlotte with the uh, two. Alex with the one. Sindane with the one. Al with the two. White Devil with the two. And Dan oh, with the one. 
and Jorge with the two. It, it was mixed, like, but I think I think I missed out the, one of the most on this one. It definitely feels like you know people were <laughs> people were not necessarily feeling the ones on this, and I think this is really interesting because to me, when you put that ring on Iron Man number fifty five. To me, that felt like the right book to go for, especially after you burned Hero for Hire. So at least for me, this is how I felt when you put the ring on Iron Man 55. You know, Lloyd, just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> One of my all-time favorite movies. What a classic. What a classic. <laughs> well, I don't know if the chat feels like you redeemed yourself because it feels like maybe a lot of people uh, are higher on the sp- I, I got to imagine people would burn the ASM book and spec on the Sabretooth one if we're just talking values here. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's tough to say. It, it's just weird that ASM, it just has this added value, I think with the tattoos and then the cover being so iconic. And then, um, I don't know, if we get him, will it just like extremely blow up because we'd never seen the character? Uh, I don't know. But, I, you know, as because of my personal attachment to Spider-Man, I couldn't do it, couldn't burn it. I feel you on that one. All right, Cam. We've gone nine sweaty, hot seat filled rounds, but we're not out of the woods yet. We got round number 10 and we had to bring in some big books for this one. Spec, collect, forget, final round. Some big silver age grails that all have potential in the near future. First up, we got Tales to Astonish number 27. First appearance of Hank Pym, Ant-Man. We got Journey into Mystery number 85, first appearance of Loki, third appearance of Thor, who could be making an appearance, a sneaky appearance in Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. And lastly, we have X-Men number four, first appearance of Scarlet Witch, Wanda, also first appearance of Quicksilver, and second appearance of Magneto. Spec, collect, forget. We got some big grail books for the final round. Cameron, this is don't, hurting me. don't mess this one up. Um. I'm sorry, Tales to Astonish 27, but I need. Whoa. I'm so sorry, but I need to burn you and forget you for, for the time being. Right out the I'm gate. So, I'm so sorry. Burning it. The it's, oldest book of the batch. The I, know it's, I know it's the oldest book of the batch, but it's it, it says the man in the anthill. It's not Ant Man to me. So the cover. And it's Hank Pym. It's just there's a few things and why I have to, unfortunately, say bye to it. That's fair. That's fair. I, I can understand <sighs> that. Um, you know, the the iteration. I like Scott Lang. I like Scott Lang and Hank Pym. Um, Hank Pym is very complicated in the comic books um, with all the stuff that he kind of goes through. So I who knows if we'll ever really see him other than the old guy helping Scott Lang in uh, movie form, but we'll see. Uh, God, this is killing me. Uh, I want, I think before I got into comic books, I would have collected X-Men 4. I Mm. think I would have. Here comes the butt. Because... I had a much bigger attachment to X-Men and I've always loved X-Men since the nineties. And I watched the cartoon, but now as far as what I'm collecting and just part of what I'm collecting and part of just the effect from the movies and stuff I'm seeing, I'm going to collect Jim 85. Loki. Putting the ring on Loki. And it's because of Thor too, like with collecting <clears throat> comics. I've Third appearance been- of Thor. That's true. That too. Loki Loki did say that he would play the character so long as they would let him. So a good life partner for you with that ring on it. And I'm gonna spec on X Men Four and make some pretty serious cash. Um, maybe Coming up. soon. I mean, right yeah. now, really. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But all right. Well, 
putting the ring on JMI 85. <sighs> X-Men number four, you are specking on that one. And Tales to Astonish 27. I'm so sorry. You just put that book in the dirt a little something like this. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. <laughs> so does that mean you approve is that, do, is that your I, approval you know it's funny because obviously i got a clip prepared or, for no matter what approval actually no matter what book you you were gonna pick uh i got a, oh, okay. a big approval there but uh okay. i i yes swag actually would have mostly approved of this one here because if you okay. guys know uh the two books that i'm going for at least i got the x-men four uh yeah. but i i definitely want to get a journey into mystery 85. i also think it's, it's appropriate that loki cheered for you putting the ring on it right yes there. yes so I, hmm. you know, Loki, so iconic. This cover is amazing. I've like really grown to have an attachment for Thor and reading these comic books. Uh, how do you not love Tom Hiddleston and Loki and that that book? Uh, and I love X Men Four, but I got I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, Loki. you can only pick one. All right, let's see you here in the chat here. Chadwick with the one. Jorge with the two. Carolina with the one. Uh, Hyper with the two, but one for effort. Dan with the one. Al with the two. Alex with the one. Max with the one. CJ with the one. You nailed it. Entire Zebra with the two. White Devil with the one point five. Journo edition. Uh, two, but mad respect. All right, so you know I think overall, I think I, maybe it's 50-50, but again all great books. And, uh, for what it's worth, I probably would have done the exact same thing that you picked here as well. So, uh, nice. kudos as well. ZYZ also with the late one. Well, Cameron, thank you so much. You made it through 10 rounds of spec, collect, forget. Thank you to everyone in the chat for helping Cameron feel terrible about <sighs> himself or feel great about himself as well, because there were some uh, you know, a lot of agreement as well. But uh, Cam, I just want to say, you know, uh, thanks so much again for playing uh, Spec Collect Forget. Thanks for having me. This is uh, this is a lot of fun.